just like yesterday. I remember it very vividly. And I remember why we named Yehuda, Yehuda Meir. And it's, it's connected to last week's Parsha, that there, there's a love that you can't put on the Mizbeah, you can't put Chametz or Devash. And there's a few to salt. It's a good question, you know why not? You know why? You can't put Devash or Chametz, but you have to put salt. So this actually gives a lesson in parenting that I think was very much connected to the reason why Dean and I named Yehuda the way we did. That what's the difference between Chametz and Devash? Chametz, we know from you know, Pesach, that Chametz makes something that full of, it blows it up. And it makes it something that it really isn't. It's all full of hot air. And Devash, Sugar changes the taste of the etzim dover, changes the taste of the thing. But you have a mitzvah to put salt on the korban, or on the mincha, on anything, because salt brings the taste out of the korban. And we saw right away when Yehuda was born, that our job as parents is to make sure that we bring out the full potential that Yehuda has. And that's the idea really behind Yehuda Meir. That the idea of Hod, that kind of beauty of, of, of majestic splendor of Hod, that's very unique. Like we see that when Moshe Rabbeinu came down to Sinai, he had Karne Hod. Hod is when the Ruchnius, the spirituality, is so strong and overwhelms the physical and it bursts through the physical. The physical can't contain it. And it comes right through. And Yehuda Meir, the name is is that Yehuda's hod, his, his splendor, should burst forth and be a shiny light to the world. And how can you do that? By bringing out his full potential, by putting salt in him, so to speak. And our job is bring out his tremendous chachot. And for 13 years, we've had the privilege and schut of raising Yehuda, and we have seen time and time again tremendous nachas from seeing Yehuda really strive to bring out his full potential, and in this old group of his bar mitzvah, he says this drasha, it's amazing. You have to, you don't know, see him through it, but it's, it's beautiful. Bezat Hashem, he's going to lane next week to Cholomoe, and we were, we were actually concerned about laning. I already said for sure he can do it. I was a little uh, less sure, but within three days, thanks to, to Yossi Freeman, he knew it cold, and he's really, he's excellent at it. But time and time again, Yehuda has surprised us to see what he's really able to accomplish. And a large, you know, we thank Hashem for, for enabling Yehuda to bring out such, such great potential. But really all the credit goes to my wife, Dini, who, you know, who was just given... I mean, it's honestly, you know, I don't everyone knows that Dini has part her heart and soul, which tremendously established in raising all of her children, and especially Yehuda, and really... Any nafas that we see from Yehuda is really a result of all of her tefillah and all of her tremendous effort. And not possible to thank you yeah. for everything you do for our children. 
Um, I also want to thank, there's not real to really thank, I want to thank uh, the Fader Chavetz Chaim. Way back when, when you heard it was the Chavetz Chaim, up in some pizza bays, and the Menahel, very mercy, accepted Yehuda without any question, which is a very unique thing. He thought this was his Christ, his responsibility to our family. He took him in, and it was, it was, it was tremendous for Yehuda. Uh, I, I need to give a, a tremendous thanks to Menahel and Shira, and a tremendous staff and seven to Marot, Rabbi Adinia, who came. Uh, Masora is a tremendous hater. They give heart and soul to these these children, and uh, and it's a real tremendous uh, pleasure to work with with this staff. Thank you all for coming. It's a tremendous simcha. We're happy to share with you. Hakosh Rishon.